The universe was in chaos. The alkali metals and halogens were locked in a fierce battle. From the remnants of this cosmic turmoil, a new era emerged. Within the heart of cooling stars, a different breed of elements arose. The transition metals, iron, copper, gold, silver, and their brethren embodied stability. They were not driven by volatile reactions like their predecessors. Theirs was a different path marked by endurance and the promise of creation. They would form the backbone of planets, the cause of stars, and the very fabric of reality itself. Unlike the reactive nature of the alkali metals or the corrosive tendencies of the halogens, the transition metals possessed an inherent strength. This strength was not just in their individual atoms, but in their ability to bond, to forge connections that amplified their power. At the forefront of this new order stood iron. The most abundant and strongest of his kind, iron was a natural leader. He gathered the other transition metals, recognizing their unique strengths and forging alliances that would shape the cosmos. Together, they would establish a dominion of power and creation, the realm of metals. Weapons were forged, but so were bonds of unity. Iron, with his unwavering strength and ability to unite others, stood as the linchpin of this metallic kingdom. Iron's strength was not merely brute force. He understood that true power resided not in isolation, but in unity. With carbon, he could create steel, a material exceeding the strength of its individual components. With nickel and chromium, he forged alloys resistant to the relentless march of time. Iron was a master strategist, a visionary who understood the delicate balance of the universe. The Metal Kingdom would not seek to eradicate these forces, but to temper them, to integrate them into a greater order. His was a strength born of collaboration, of binding with others to create something greater than the sum of its parts. Under Iron's leadership, the Metal Kingdom flourished. Copper, with its remarkable ability to conduct electricity, became the lifeblood of the realm. Gold, rare and precious, embodied eternal value. Silver, with its reflective brilliance, possessed a mastery over light. Each metal, with its unique strengths, played a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the Metal Kingdom. They learned to work together, to harness their combined power to overcome the challenges that lay ahead. For they knew that the universe was vast and unforgiving. Only through unity could they hope to endure. At the heart of the Metal Kingdom lay the forge of war. It was the crucible of their unity, the symbolic heart of their strength. Within the forge, the clang of hammers on anvils echoed like a heartbeat. Here, under the watchful gaze of iron, new alloys were born, each one stronger and more resilient than the last. The forge was a place of constant innovation, where the transition metals experimented with different combinations. As long as the forge burned bright, the metal kingdom would stand strong, ready to face any challenge. Copper, with his warm, vibrant glow, embodied the very essence of energy and connection. His power lay in his ability to conduct, to act as a conduit for the raw forces that surged through the cosmos. Copper's presence was essential to the Metal Kingdom. He was the lifeblood, the network of veins and arteries through which energy could flow. Without Copper, the Metal Kingdom would be a static, lifeless entity. He knew that his power was not his own, but a force to be harnessed for the greater good of the Metal Kingdom. He was the bridge between the raw power of the universe and the intricate workings of their metallic realm. Iron, copper and gold formed a trinity at the heart of the Metal Kingdom. Each possessed a unique strength, a vital aspect of what it meant to bring order to the universe. Iron, the unyielding foundation, provided strength and structure. Copper, the vibrant conduit, infused their realm with energy and connection. Gold, the enduring constant, represented value and the enduring nature of their purpose. Together they formed a balance, 
a harmony of elements that ensured the continued growth and prosperity of the metal kingdom. Iron, while recognising the importance of copper's energy and gold's resilience, remained the steadfast leader. Their true strength resided not just in their combined might, but in their ability to act in concert. As the Metal Kingdom flourished, a sense of unease began to stir in the far reaches of the cosmos. Whispers travelled on the solar winds, carried on the backs of comets, speaking of an ancient power, long dormant but stirring once more. Uranium, a name whispered in hushed tones, carried with it the weight of forgotten epochs and cataclysmic events. Iron, ever vigilant, felt the shift in the cosmic balance. Uranium was a force unlike any other, a primal energy capable of unimaginable destruction. While the other elements had risen from the ashes of the first stars, uranium was born of their death throes. The whispers of uranium's return sent a chill through the heart of the forge. Iron, ever the pragmatist, knew that the Metal Kingdom had grown complacent. They needed to innovate, to push the boundaries of their understanding, to forge new alliances in the face of this ancient threat. Iron summoned his brethren not just copper, gold and silver, but the lesser-known elements of the Metal Kingdom, titanium, tungsten and platinum. Each element held a piece of the puzzle a unique property that, when combined correctly, could unlock the key to their survival. The time had come to prepare for a different kind of creation, one born not of harmony, but of necessity. Among the many innovations born within the forge, none proved as crucial as the creation of steel. Iron, recognising the limitations of his own strength, turned to carbon, a seemingly insignificant element known for its ability to form bonds. Together they embarked on a journey of experimentation, a fusion of fire and will that would forever alter the fate of the Metal Kingdom. The process was fraught with challenges. Countless attempts resulted in shattered alloys, the forge echoing with the sounds of failure. But the transition metals were nothing if not persistent, their determination fueled by the looming threat of uranium. Finally, they achieved a breakthrough, creating steel, a perfect balance of iron and carbon. Steel was a testament to the power of collaboration, a symbol of their unwavering resilience in the face of annihilation. As the fires of the forge burned brighter than ever, the universe watched with bated breath. The coming of uranium was not a secret confined to the Metal Kingdom, word of the transition. Metals preparations spread like wildfire among the other elements. The alkali metals, their fiery tempers momentarily forgotten, looked upon the forge with a newfound respect. Even the halogens, their corrosive nature subdued by the gravity of the situation, ceased their ceaseless assaults. The coming conflict would determine the fate of the cosmos for millennia to come. Uranium was a mystery, even to the transition metals. It was not merely a powerful element, it was a relic of the universe's most cataclysmic events. Unlike iron's steady strength or copper's vibrant energy, uranium's power was chaotic, unpredictable. Its very essence was antithetical to the order the Metal Kingdom represented. Where they sought to build and bind, uranium threatened to unravel the very fabric of existence. Iron despite his wisdom and experience, felt a tremor of fear as he contemplated the challenge ahead. The Metal Kingdom would need to delve into the unknown to unlock the secrets of this enigmatic element. The very nature of uranium defied the order the Metal Kingdom sought to impose. Its atoms were in a constant state of decay, releasing energy in unpredictable bursts, this radioactivity was a spectrum of instability, a constant reminder that even the most fundamental building blocks of the universe were subject to forces beyond their control. The transition metals found themselves grappling with a force they could neither see nor touch directly. Uranium's power was insidious, a creeping poison that could weaken the very bonds holding their kingdom together. 
Their research led them to discover the different isotopes of uranium, each with its own unique properties and half-lives. Uranium-235 possessed a volatile nature, its decay chain capable of releasing unimaginable energy in a fraction of a second. As the transition metals delved deeper into the mysteries of uranium, they stumbled upon a terrifying truth. Under the right conditions, uranium atoms could be induced to split apart, releasing even more energy than their natural decay processes. This process, known as nuclear fission, was the heart of uranium's destructive power. The implications were staggering. While the Metal Kingdom had mastered the art of fusion, fission represented a terrifying inverse, a force that could unravel the very fabric of matter itself. Iron saw a vision of the universe consumed by a chain reaction of fission, stars collapsing in on themselves, galaxies unravelling into nothingness. The threat of uranium was no longer abstract. It was a shadow that stretched across the universe, threatening to extinguish the very light of creation. Section 1. The Grand Forge. A sense of urgency gripped the Metal Kingdom. The whispers of uranium's return had transformed the forge of war from a place of creation to a hive of feverish activity. Iron, his brow creased with worry, oversaw the frantic preparations, his voice echoing through the cavernous halls, directing his brethren in their desperate struggle against oblivion. Every anvil rang with the clang of hammers, the air thick with the scent of molten metal and ozone. Dwarven figures, their metallic bodies gleaming under the intense heat of the forges, worked tirelessly, their movements a blur as they shaped and moulded the elements into weapons of unimaginable strength. The very structure of the forge had been transformed. Vast networks of copper wiring snaked across the ceiling, channelling energy from distant stars to power the ever-growing array of machinery. Gold, once reserved for ornamentation and symbols of value, was now woven into the very fabric of their defences, its enduring nature a bulwark against the corrosive touch of radioactivity. Section 2. Echoes of Doubt. Yet even as the Metal Kingdom rallied to face the looming threat, a sense of unease lingered in the air. The whispers of uranium's power had sown seeds of doubt, a creeping fear that their combined might might not be enough to withstand the onslaught of such primal energy. Iron, despite his resolute demeanour, felt the weight of his responsibility pressing down on him. He had always believed in the strength of unity, in the power of the transition metals to overcome any challenge through collaboration and innovation. But uranium represented a different breed of chaos, a force that seemed to mock their attempts at order and control. The other elements, sensing their leader's unease, struggled to maintain their morale. Copper, his usual vibrancy dimmed, channeled energy with a forced intensity, his thoughts plagued by visions of a universe consumed by radioactive fire. Gold, his eternal luster dulled by worry, reinforced their defences with a stoic silence, his mind replaying the echoes of ancient cataclysms. the looming storm. As the transition metals toiled relentlessly, forging their defences against the encroaching darkness, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were racing against destiny itself. The very fabric of the cosmos seemed to hum with anticipation, the stars themselves casting an anxious gaze upon the forge of war. The battle for the universe's soul was about to begin, and the outcome was far from certain. Iron, his gaze fixed on the swirling vortex of energy that represented uranium's growing power, knew that the Metal Kingdom's survival, and perhaps the fate of the universe itself, hinged on the strength of their bonds and the ingenuity of their creations. The coming conflict would test the very limits of their endurance, their unity, and their unwavering belief in the power of order over chaos. In the depths of space, Untouched by the frantic preparations of the Metal Kingdom, Hydrogen, the progenitor of all elements, watched with a growing sense of foreboding. He had witnessed the birth and death of stars, the ebb and flow of cosmic energy, 
and the rise and fall of countless civilizations. And yet, something about the coming confrontation between uranium and the transition metals filled him with a primal fear, a sense that the very essence of creation hung precariously in the balance. The universe held its breath, caught between the anticipation of a dawn that could illuminate the cosmos or the dread of a darkness that might extinguish it forever. The stage was set, the players in position, the cosmic dice cast. The battle for the universe's soul was about to begin. 